Hey everyone, welcome back to Classics Are Better. I'm Travis and today we are working on my 1960 C10. So this is my 1960 C10. Um, I like to call it rusty. Today we're going to be painting the Chevrolet on the embossed area here and the front grill. First thing you're going to want to do is prep the surface for paint. So just give it a good old fashioned cleaning real quick. Make sure you don't have any just dirt or grime or anything like that, grease, oil, stuff that paint does not want to stick to. You can kind of see too, or hopefully on the video you can see somewhat how when it makes it darker how much cooler this patina looks. Um, in an upcoming video I'll show you guys how to rub linseed oil on the whole thing to make it look kind of like a clear coat. Uh, you have to do it every three or four months, sometimes six, if you, know, if you keep it inside like I do. Uh, but it's kind of a cool alternative to trying to do clear coat or wax or something like that on it but one project at a time right so also I had one other tip so besides just cleaning it you could always use one of these scotch bright pads um, green side down and just go through and rough up the whole surface uh, after you've done that go through with the biggest blue tape that you have and tape over the embossed part of the Chevrolet where we're going to be painting um, I kind of went in about three letter or so groupings just so I didn't have to have like a three foot piece of tape going all the way across. Uh, you're going to want to obviously rub in really well the uh, letters here so that you have clear cut lines when you try and cut this stuff out. I also like to use like a sharpie or something like that with a dull edge where you can softly rub up in there and really get it outlined where maybe your finger wouldn't be able to. All right, so we got everything prepped with tape and coverage. Got the Camaro covered in plastic. Uh, generally, I would cover the truck in plastic too for painting, but since we're just doing the grill here and it's an old rusty truck, hopefully we'll be close enough. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is take an X-Acto knife or box cutter, sharpest one you got. And we are literally going to go around each of these and carve these letters out the best that we can. The cleaner you do it, the better your paint's going to look. So here is the logo with all of the letters trimmed out, ready for paint. All right, once you got everything cut away, time for paint. I'm just using some Krylon uh, Color Master paint and primer uh, in satin black. I think that'll look good, and I have it in my cabinet, so. But definitely less is more. Get you a little test. So I'm going to keep doing multiple coats like this. Let it dry. Kind of go back and do it. I'll probably end up doing, I don't know, four, five, six. Just depends how it ends up looking. All right. Time to check out how we did. So, take a look here. Oh, Not so bad. Definite improvement, I feel. Could definitely touch it up some. Uh, I mean, there's some little bitty bits when you get really close to it, but considering how the truck looks, not bad at all. And Thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of Classics Are Better. So, please check back in soon. Thank you all.